Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy, and today we are having a look at the Scrutinator Primus Sir Valen, uh, which is a name I've probably butchered. Basically, it's a bounty hunter for any law-abiding gang, but it's just a really cool enforcer model, and it has a cyber dog as well. Technically, it's a cyber mastiff, but it's a robot dog. It's a really cool model. I, I like these two. I really do. I think they're really cool models. I particularly like um, Primus. I assume this is Primus as uh, Sir Valen, though I could be wrong. I do like this model here because it, if it does remind, this is going to sound weird, but it does remind me of Fallout New Vegas a little bit. It does remind me of Fallout New Vegas of what the NCR uh, Ranger wears slightly. Maybe it's because of the a weird trench coat thing going on uh, but it's a really cool model it's a really cool model and there I, I like the pistol the pistol is very cool and it has a sight on it because why not I think it's an infrared sight though we don't know I I do like the model however however I one thing I don't really like about the model is the eyes I why I don't like the eyes. I wish they were removed uh, because I I think it would be really cool if you had like actual human eyes and then like the rebreather mask. I think that would look a lot cooler than that because it just it just looks odd it, to me. It just looks odd. However, some people might think it looks cool, and yeah, I like it. It's a really de it's a decent model. It's a decent model. And the cyborg dog is showing its age a little bit. But again, I, I think it looks amazing. I, I love it. I love it. It's I'm pretty sure all of it's all of it's just mechanical. There is no biological parts to this dog. The word cyber mastiff, it, I reckon it's just a robot mastiff because there's nothing biological in there. There, there is nothing. I reckon it's just a full-on proper robot dog. Maybe the brain is probably... Maybe the head part might be biological instead of mechanical. But regardless, it's a cool model. And I'm a sucker for dogs. Unfortunately, though, you can't bring these with enforcers, sadly. You can't bring cyber mastiffs with enforcers unless you bring this bounty, uh, uh, this bounty hunter along. Which is a shame because I would like to have some robot dogs, but you can't because enforcers are not for fun. <laughs> oh god, playing enforcers is like the saddest thing ever. Just, if you want a decent gang, choose Orlocks for a beginner's gang. Don't choose enforcers. Enforcers are incredibly limited and they're overly expensive for what they do. They're not the best and it's one of my biggest regrets ever. Anyway... And anyway, we can have a look at the rules. So, without further ado, let's get into the rules. I don't know where I was going with that, but let's go. These are the rules for Sir Valen and her Cyber Mastiff. Now, I, I, I don't know what to say. I was hoping that the rules would be slightly better than a regular captain. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's 240 credits, are you taking the piss? Why are you so shit? Why are you so shit? So, you are paying 240 credits for movement 5, weapon skill and ballistic skill 4, for fuck's sake, strength and toughness 3, wounds 2, initiative 4, 1 attack. I fucking hate this fucking rule. Why? Right. Little bit of a rant. Why is it then that enforcers only have one attack? They just get given the one and they have to bring a stub gun. It is so shit. And they're so costly. Why would anybody play normal enforcers? You want to play enforcers? Do Chaos Corrupted or Gene Stealer enforcers because regular enforcers are a pain in the ass to play. And I hate them. The only redeeming factor is that when one of them inevitably does die because they die really easily, you can replace them with a rookie. 
and the rookie is shit, but then again, the regular gang is shit, so you're suffering there. And anyway, leadership 6, cool check 7, willpower 6, and intelligence 4. Well, at least the intelligence is good. Oh, <laughs> it's just so fucking miserable. Even the bounty hunter that costs 240 credits can't be allowed to have a slightly decent ballistic skill. Oh god, it's miserable. Don't worry, she's got the skill Got Your Six and her war gear. Flak, armoured undersuit, which comes standard. Manacles, which I don't think anyone uses. I haven't used them yet. Uh, I'm not likely to use them. Respirator and Scrutiner stub gun with infrared and excruciator. Ex fuck off, these words. Excruciator rounds, which seem quite good. Psychic Pain. Uh, not Psychic Pain. Psychic Null. I read prior as pain. I am an idiot. Psychic Null can disrupt weird powers as if being a psyker. All fighters within six inches suffers the following friend or foe. Psychic powers cannot be manifested. Minus two modifier to call checks. Now that is quite good. That is really quite good. But just, just this... This is just shit. I meant two wounds. Woohoo! You might as well just pay for like a regular paladite captain or a sergeant. Seriously. It's probably cheaper in the long run. Oh dear. But the I but she can just turn off uh, psychic powers. That's quite good. And also uh, ins instigator cannot be targeted by tactics. This can uh, this can be affected if this fighter is not specifically targeted. Cool. Okay. And then you've got your hard case cyber mastiff. Threat response. Are you kidding me? Okay. Now I now I understand why it's two hundred and forty credits because the cyber mastiff is better. I <laughs> it just is. It's got light carapace armor and a respirator, shock bite, which is strength three, AP minus one, damage one, rending and shock, threat response, toughness four, one wound though, which is a bit of a shame, but it has got light carapace armor, which is quite good. I, I generally cannot believe that the Cyber Mastiff has a better weapon skill. Then, uh, then this bounty hunt. Like, come on. <laughs> Just come on. Give enforcers at least one useful skill. Enforcers get treated like shit because they're just the worst gang. I'm convinced they're the worst gang. People often say, oh, well, actually, the worst gang's this and this. No, it's enforcers. It's not worth the points. It's not worth the credits. I, that's why I chose all Ogren. My next gang is all Ogren, and they're just massive beefcakes that are somehow smarter than my <laughs> regular enforcers. I, I don't understand it myself. Anyway, uh, Cyber Mastiff. Uh, tenacious. Uh, it's Tenacious, so if taken out of action while not yet activated this round, this fighter is not removed from the battlefield until after completing its activation. So, once you kill it... It can then charge and then probably bite someone. I don't know. Uh, loyal protector while standing, fighting or engaged, and within three inches of its owner. Enemy fighters may not make a coup de grace against the owner. That is really useful. And I know a lot of... Uh, I know the Goliath Crocodiles has a similar sort of thing where, with loyal protector. Basically, it just stops your character dying instantly if it gets seriously injured in melee, which is handy. It's incredibly handy, because coup de gras is brutal. Uh, luckily, it's only like a free curb stomp, and that's it. It isn't anything that bad, but still, it is someone that's dead or possibly could be killed because of lasting injury rolls. And I'm wittering. And Faithful Protector, when activated, if the owner is engaged and within six inches, this fighter can immediately move into base-to-base -base contact with any fighters engaging the owner. Counts as a free action. Oh, cool. So, if, say, if someone's charged, charged this person, 
then Cybermastiff gets to just go in for free. Not bad, it's got two attacks. Weapon skill free. It's worth it. But I just I just can't believe the weapon skill, ballistic skill. Like, 240 credits, is it really worth it? When you consider how much a sub subjugator captain is, or a subjugator sergeant, compare that with a regular paladite sergeant or a captain, you'd be better off just using a just a regular paladite, surely. And I think what annoys me is it's again an enforcer model with only one attack. I I really hate that. <laughs> it's it's one of my pet peeves. It's like. Oh, don't worry, you only get the one attack. That's why enforcers are kind of shit if they ever get into melee. And, yeah, it's it's just pain. It's just miserable, miserable pain. And, oh, but, you know, you can give them the concussion rifle. Joy! <laughs> That's You might as well just load everyone up with concussion rifles and hope for the best. That That's what I might ever do if I start playing enforcers again. I, I won't, because... Ogrens. <laughs> just just my solution to life is Ogrens. They're silly and dumb and I love them. But Enforcers is just miserable. <laughs> anyway, I've been Idiotic Synergy and I'll see you later. Remember, take care, look after each other and have a good one. Bye for now.